Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will attempt to find undervalued stocks and crypto using standard deviation. Now I'm currently on Google's website called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it easy to get started writing and programming in Python. So if you're going to program along with me then go to this website and log in using your Google account and then click on file and then click on new notebook and drive now this will open up a new tab for you and eventually a cell will open up for you. Now in this cell I'm going to import the library that I plan on using for this program. So I'm going to import pandas as pd and then I'm going to run this this code here by clicking the button here to the left and this will let me know if I made any mistakes. Alright also before we begin if you like the videos on this channel then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from the channel hit that bell notification also you can get the code or the data set or just support the channel on patreon at patreon.com slash computer science and I will leave a link for that in the description below alright also remember that the material in this video is purely educational and should not be taken as professional investment advice okay so with all that being said I'm going to create a new cell by clicking that code button in the top left and now in this cell I'm going to read the CSV file into a data frame. Okay, so I need to get that stock data. So I'm going to create a variable called df. I'm going to set it equal to pd.read underscore csv. And we are going to get the csv file. So what is that csv file called? Let's see. Let's go over here to the left. Click on files. Click upload. And I called it stocks.csv. Okay, so I'm going to open up stocks.csv. All right, so I'm going to exit out of here. And now let's take a look at that data frame. So I'm just going to type df here to show the data. All right, so let's go ahead and run this cell. And now we can see this stock data. Okay, so uh, we can see that we have data on AAPL, which is Apple, AMZN, Amazon, Baba, Alibaba, um, Baidu, we have BTC, Bitcoin, we have Coinbase, CRISPR, so on and so forth. We have a lot of columns here. If I just keep going over, you can see many, many more, and there's a few dots in between because there's, there are a lot of different stocks here in this data set. Okay, and again, you can get this data set from Patreon at or at uh, patreon.com slash computer science. Okay, so let's take a look here. So yeah, we have 32 columns and 242 rows of data. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this date to be the index. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to type df.set underscore index, and I'm going to put date. Let me escape from this. All right, so I'm going to put date and set in place equal to true. All right, so let's run this again. And yep, now we have that date column as our index. Okay, so let's create a new cell now that you saw the data. And now we're going to create a function to identify undervalued stocks in crypto. All right. So I'm going to call this function identify underscore under valued underscore stocks. But really it's going to be for stocks and crypto. And it's going to take in a data frame. So I'm just going to type data underscore frame. That's going to be our DF. And then it's going to take in a standard deviation number. So I'm going to put num underscore STD underscore dev. I'm going to default it to 2 for now. Okay, so I think that looks good. Next, I want to calculate the mean and standard deviation for each stock. So I'm going to create a variable called mean underscore prices. I'm going to set it equal to data underscore frame dot mean. And then I also want the standard deviation prices and Google has given us this suggestion here. So I'm just going to tab over. It looks good. We're going to call it standard deviation prices and we're going to set it equal to data underscore frame dot std. 
All right, and then I'm just going to print the mean prices so so that we so that we all can see these mean prices, right? We can see what we're doing. I could also print the standard deviation prices as well, but I think if we print just the mean prices, you kind of understand how how the data looks. And I think that'd be good enough for now. Maybe I will print the standard deviation prices, maybe not. Let's let's continue for now. All right, so next I want to identify the undervalued stocks in this data set, right? So I'm going to create a empty list and we're going to call it undervalued underscore stocks. So undervalued underscore stocks. So I'm going to set it equal to an empty list for now. And this right here will contain and hold all of the stock symbols that that this program deems to be undervalued. Okay. All right. So next I want to loop through every single column in our data set. So for column in data frame dot columns, I like what Google suggested here. I'm just going to tap over. I want to get the stocks deviation. So I'm going to put here stock. I'm going to call it stock underscore standard deviation and I'm going to set it equal to STD underscore dev prices at that column yes so that looks good and the mean I'm going to call it stock underscore mean and I'm going to set it equal to mean underscore prices at that column okay so that looks really good and I also want to get the latest price so I'm going to create a variable called latest underscore Price and I'm going to set it equal to the last price in our data set. So that's going to be data underscore frame column negative one. And I'm actually going to put dot I lock here. So we're getting the last, the last row of data of that current column. Okay, that's all we're doing. So negative one is just getting us that very last row of data which is the latest closing price in this case right so whatever the last whatever the last number is in the data set is our latest price all right so it looks like the program gave us some extra stuff here i didn't realize till just now so we have if latest price is less than the stock underscore mean minus the number standard deviations times stock standard deviation which is good then we're going to append it we're going to append that that column and the latest price well I don't really care about the latest price so I'm just going to get rid of this and I want to get rid of these parentheses here and so now we're just going to append the symbol to the list. All right, and I think that looks I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to create a new cell by clicking that code button again. And now I'm going to create a variable called undervalued stocks. Again, this will contain both stocks and crypto. I'm going to set it equal to our function. So I'm just going to tap this over. And I'm going to put in a one for our number of standard deviations away from the mean and I like this print statement here but we're going to make this a little better right so I'm gonna put if undervalued stocks so if there's something in undervalued stocks then we're going to we're gonna print I'm just tabbing over here we're going to print undervalued stocks, which looks good. And then we're going to print each stock. Okay, that looks fine. I'm just going to put I'm just going to put stock here. So we're just going to print the stock. Okay, else there were no undervalued stocks. That looks good. And we're just going to get rid of this then. Okay, and I think that should do it. So let's run this. All right, so the first thing that we see are the means for each stock. Right, so we see the, the stock symbol, and then we see the mean for that stock. 
So on the left is the stock symbol, on the right is the stocks mean. As we scroll down, we get to undervalued stocks, and it looks like these three stocks, and maybe I should put stocks and crypto. So under undervalued stocks slash crypto, and no undervalued stocks slash crypto found. Okay, so let's run this again. All right, so now we can see undervalued stocks crypto. So we can see CRSP, which is CRISPR, ETH-USD, which is Ethereum, and mRNA, which is Moderna. And this is actually pretty cool. mRNA is the messenger ribose nucleic acid, if you know about biology. So that's neat that they have their stock symbol like that. Okay. So it looks like these three are undervalued with our one standard deviation. So if we change this to two, let's see which of these stocks are undervalued. Okay, so it looks like if we change that standard deviation to two, there are no undervalued stocks found. And if we change it to zero, right, then we're just really checking to see if the latest price is less than the stocks mean, right? So let's go up here to the function and we can see here we have that number standard deviation. If it was zero, then this whole block here equals zero. Therefore, this is only checking if the latest price is less than the stock mean, and that's fine if that's what you want to do. So let's just run it, and let's see if we find more stocks in crypto, and we do. So we can see coin, coins mean is, I'm sorry, coins latest price is less than its mean, if I'm saying that correctly, latest price less than the mean, yep. And same for CRISPR, same for Disney, same for Dogecoin. Okay, and of course we have Ethereum here again and Moderna here again. Okay, so thank you very much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. A special thanks to the Patreon supporters on Patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel or get the code or data set, I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is Patreon.com slash Computer Science in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.